Yeah. Is it on? How the fuck is yeah, it? It's on. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. No, I don't know him. But he's just Shit. So how was the show, man? That I was, shit was turned. That I shit was that I'm shit was at, live. I look at festivals like you know how like AAU tournaments and shit. You know yeah. What I'm like all the artists come out here and they get to play and shit. But it's yeah. Like, who, 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 you know what I'm saying? Who gonna score it? Who gonna score points? Out? What up? Show me them tunes. <laughs> 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 Shit, they you know need it. Awesome. I don't know if the GoPro is catching that. Yeah, cause my bunch of fans just show some titties. I love titties, man. My oh my, what up, man? She what? She's ass. He said. I don't know ass. <laughs> the part right between the balls and the ass. That, that. The grundle. The grundle. <laughs> The tank. The tank. The tank. Yeah, hit the tank. You hit the tank. <laughs> but I don't know about ass, baby. That's, that's a little too intimate. You know what I'm saying? Can't even hit your ass, eh? You hit your toe too much. <laughs> yeah, you know, I hit his ass. Ah, right? oh, man. Mm -hmm. So, we're riding. Fans that show some titties, that's a nice energy boost. And told me she eat my ass. <laughs> God damn, like that's a that's that's a shot of affection. That, that that's bad as being a fan. For shit. I mean, that's just no, I mean, you know, you just know how far she'll go. Like, if she's willing to eat your ass. I mean, no, the point of it is, I feel like a lot of girls will do a lot of shit if you tell them or ask them to do yeah. it. Yeah. But for her to yell it out, I mean she like doing it. Yeah, it's pretty weird. Yeah, that means, she might that's, just, that's her thing. She gonna be doing that shit in, I mean, a, in that's a tent her, later. That's her, that, that, that's her finisher. That's her fatality. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she hit the ass fatality. Uh, <laughs> fucking shiz everywhere, you know? Yeah. <laughs> that's her fatality move, man. Who are you excited to see here, man? Kanye. Kanye. I haven't saw, last time I saw a Kanye show was... He played in Detroit, and that was like college dropout. When he was oh, like, yeah. When he was doing songs with Slum Village and Dilated Pupils and shit yeah. like that, you know? Did they, so did they drop? Kanye was still wearing a backpack, put it yeah. like that, you know? Did they, so it was uh, great to see how far Kanye has came, you know what I'm saying? So I want to see. The Slum, the slum Village pop in on that show? Yeah, Slum Village was there. That Selfish was like one of the hottest records out at the time. Yeah. That was like, that's so tight. Like, I wonder, like, you know, I always think about, and I ain't trying, like, I love Kanye. Like, he's my ultimate fan, but I wonder, what, like, would he do a song with Slum Village and the Holly Peoples? Nah. nah, it's a lot of people. <laughs> but they kind of help. <laughs> like, in some sense of, like, the underground community, it was yeah. a lot of people that was like, Kanye tight, just up there. Like, yeah. that Holly Peoples song, I feel like, was a big song in, in that world, you know? Yeah. To, to get you where you need to be. Right. Like, will Kanye do a track with, uh, uh, no, that's how, uh, do or die anymore. Like, you, you did a song with do or die? Oh, yeah, he yeah, did, you did a bunch of, a bunch of songs and beats on that. He I did, think, uh, to be honest, if he was to put do or die on his next album, would be fucking dope. That'd be yeah. really awesome. Maybe I, it was. I love do or die. That pimp shit, you know what I mean? I'm a big, I'm a big. Oh, motherfuckers, that's a big guy. Let me get you by that. Hold it in front of time. Got all those motherfuckers. I always feel like a nigga's rap holding their collar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me get you by <laughs> yeah, some songs. I love Crucial Conflict too. I was just telling my manager about Crucial Conflict, how, like how much ahead of the time that Crucial Conflict was because yeah. it was like they was making turn up double time shit, but it was all it was sample based heavy music. Right. Like who you have like that right now? Like yeah. nobody. There's hey. no group that does sample based double time turn up. Right. You know. He I mean, still goes off goes, in the club oh, in Chicago. I believe it. It fucking still I feel like it goes go crazy. Off in any context of real, like, people that know about real hip-hop. Yeah. You know? Even That's I feel it. like the people that thought that shit was whack back when it first came out. Yeah. Like, now as an adult, knowing all the shit that you hear now, Hey sounds like fucking Kendrick yeah, Lamar hey, to you right now. You know hey what I'm saying? sounds crazy. What's up? It's Seth Herzog. What's up, man? Right, Chilling out. Right, right, right. Yeah. Doing all right. Going to Janelle Monae. Oh yeah. Want to roll? Yeah. Seth yeah. Herzog joining us, everybody. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Now this is more fun. Yeah. yeah. I forgot about Janelle Monae in the house. Yeah, man. So shit, man. How many more? You been? You been on the road? I've been on a little bit. I've 
I've been um, out on the road a little bit since the last special, but not not too heavy until August. What's the last good stand-up set you saw? Last good stand-up set? Yeah. I mean, not necessarily like live, but like recorded. Recorded, you, motherfucker, because you know you the shit. Thank you, man. That's nice. Uh, you know, I went to it's this cat, Gerard Carmichael. Gerard Carmichael. Gerard Carmichael. Uh, he's in. Uh, we did this movie, Neighbors, the Seth Rogen movie. Yeah, I actually seen the trailer for that shit. Going to see another dumbass yeah. movie with some bitch. You know, you take bitches to the movies, but you don't care. And this is the time <laughs> I was drinking lean and shit. So I was just drinking lean in the movie theater, and I fell asleep. And after the yeah. movie was over, she woke me up. You know, I fell asleep in the movie. Dick, like, Get hard. So it was like, <laughs> I had a date with a bitch, took her out, went to go get the pussy, and because I drunk too much lean, my date couldn't even get hard. Well, That's why I was like, you know what? Quentin Lane? It's time to stop sipping this shit, man. That's you know good. What so Gerard Carmichael. Yeah, I, I went to his, uh... It said stop, baby, stop. I know you know the stop sign. Come on now. Real niggas don't know what the word stop means. Well, I got this <laughs> Where instead of me beating on the court next time, beat on one of y'all. Real niggas. Well, I like with that. my stop sign. I'm really into that Real kind of stuff, though. All right, then. And when you say harder, I'm going to hit you harder. When when time, oh, shit, what, that out is when what time, no time, what time you get off? <laughs> what time you get off? I get off at it. All right, I'll see you then. No, you won't. No, you won't, because I'm going to be on stage. Excuse me. Yeah. I got to go. Go. <laughs> this show just got real. <laughs> <laughs> like pops in this bitch. Oh my god, I thought you guys would get arrested for sure. <laughs> yeah, you can't make anal jokes to security guards, you know? <laughs> That's like, you don't get put out the festival doing shit like that. Where'd they go? I don't know, the motherfuckers don't left us. They right there. Oh. The way up there. I don't like that shit, you can't leave a nigga. This Last is fun, time man. I left a nigga, you know what I'm saying? We went to the club. Yeah. My nigga was too young to get in. When yeah. the club was slapping. And I said, you know what, man? Shit. Your ass not to wait in the car. It's too many bitches out here. You're gonna go in the club. Yeah, man. You're gonna go in the motherfucking club. After the club was over with, I'm chilling. Next yeah. thing I know, some white dude just walked up and said, thanks for sucker punching me. What? He punched me in the fucking face. Punched you in the face? Yes! Next thing I know, it was like four on ten. It turned to a race war, because it looked like these black dudes were just beating up on white guys, so white guys just started jumping in and helping Damn. Cause you know, black dudes and white guys fight different. Yeah. You know, white guys fight like they playing hockey. They just want to grab you and they punch you out. And they don't, white guys, like, you know, they black like guys, the, we like to punch you and then run around. And they, white dudes like to, and then run around. White dudes like to shoot the fair one. So they couldn't, they didn't understand that. I remember we punched one of them and I ran. My brother punched him again, he ran. He said, they keep running. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, we won. Damn. <laughs> We done? Cool. <laughs> but that's it. That's riding around in a golf cart with Danny Brown on Hannibal Burris. Special guest Seth Herzog. Tony oh, Trim. <laughs> Later. Bottom